Uh, hello, I'm Richard Gilroy, uh, Medical Director of Liver Transplant at the Intermountain Medical Centre. I'm here with George Alex. He's a physician from Australia from the Royal Children's Hospital. At the Children's Hospital, you're doing research these days, aren't you? Yes, we do. Yeah, we do a fair bit of research. Uh, What's a particular area of interest to you? My area of interest is uh, inflammatory bowel disease, and uh, I do a do a little bit of research in liver transplants too, because there's a good mix with regards to uh, children with uh, both liver disease and also with inflammatory bowel disease. So now in paediatric gastroenterology in this area, a small population, not only the size of the individual, but the number of people you see? Absolutely. I mean, I think more so in a country like Australia, when you only have about 25 million people, we don't have a very big pool of uh, patients to do research on. So we tend to rely more in terms of uh, uh, collaborative research is uh, being the main thing at the moment. And so the International Liver Transplant Society is very important for you for those collaborations. You do multinational studies, is that correct? Uh, we do, and as I said, my area of interest is inflammatory bowel disease, and we do multi-center trials, uh, uh, usually run by uh, drug companies uh, mm -hmm. that we be part of, just simply so that we can get the numbers that we need to make it a, a reasonable uh, project. And how have you found research in this day and age? What, are the, what has been the greatest opportunity for you in research? Um, look, I think research these days are becoming harder and harder and more with regards to the dollar that's mm -hmm. available to do it. And uh, also in terms of uh, where, you, where your interest lies. I mean, many a times it's very difficult for clinicians to do research, uh, more because of the, uh, the pull in terms of your time. Uh, having to, to work in the clinical domain and also research is a very tough combination. Um, uh, but um, yeah, so, so I think those are the real challenges at this particular point. Now you and I went to medical school together. Yes we did, yes we did. Richard. Now, <laughs> now one of the things that I put to you as a question is how much has things changed over the last 25 years? Um, uh, look, I think it's becoming a lot more competitive uh, uh, in, in medicine. Uh, I think uh, a lot of people are uh, I think there's a lot more graduates coming out these days mm -hmm. and uh, hence I think it's becoming, as I said, more competitive and it's, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a tough world out there, I think. But has been a greater focus on the delivery of high quality health care? I absolutely agree. I mean, I think uh, there's a lot of scrutiny from your peers these days and so you have to have a, a good, uh, you know, you, you really have to uh, put the time and effort in terms of coming up with quality research uh, to stand out there and I think uh, that's really important these days, uh, that you, you know, the quality of work that comes out these days are much higher than it was, I think. And the, uh, the ILTS has been a vehicle for you in developing some relationships? Yeah, I think, I think it's a great platform for networking uh, in terms of uh, meeting other physicians and, and surgeons from around the world with regards to, uh, to collaborations that you could probably foster in future. And so. It's worth coming all the way from Australia to come for this meeting. I think. And so next steps for you other than a long plane trip home. Are you going home with any particular things that you've learned at this meeting that might be helpful? Look, I think many a times these meetings, when you come for it from a year-to-year -year basis, it helps consolidate your own practice, I think, more than anything else. But there are a few pearls that I will be taking back from this meeting. Uh, like, um, uh, you know, and I, as I said, uh, I think there, uh, it's, it's really useful uh, to, to have that opportunity to know where you stand amongst the rest of your peers and also what you can learn from them I think is very important. Well the Australian system that I'm familiar with is very very good and has high quality in healthcare but in all systems the key is valued life and we seem to be trying to always push to, great, to create greater value in the care that we deliver. Uh, do you think we're nearly there or do you think we've got a ways to go? Well I, I think there's always uh, room to improve and uh, to, to better ourselves and also for the betterment of our patients. So I think, uh, you know, I think uh, you never say you've reached the ultimate. There's more to achieve. I think. That's why we're here. We're here to actually achieve that. Uh, again, George, thank you very much, mate. Thanks very much, Richard. Great talking to you. Again. You as well.